Pipe down, shit bucket. One more word and I'll blast the mouth off your face and use it as a cup holder. You're probably wondering how I ended up here. You see, it all started yesterday morning. My name is Detective John Connor, and there's only one thing I know. Putting crooks behind bars. But recently, there was an incident, and they recommended I go on leave. Turns out it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I've truly begun to find myself, and I'm thriving in ways that... Hello, Esmeralda? I changed my mind, let's keep it. Captain Finnegan? I don't understand, my leave isn't over for another three weeks. I know the circumstances of your leave, but we need our best detective. Say it again, like you mean it. John Connor, you're our best detective. Yes. Now bark like a dog. Is this really necessary? Okay, okay. I'll do it. But only for God and country. The victim's name was Joseph Baldridge. He was discovered by a bunch of homeless guys playing capture the flag. They had to finish the game, of course, but then they were able to mug a nearby... Pay attention, Connor. No one's gonna die on your watch this time. ...in minutes, thanks to some excellent work by Detective Sanchez. Nice to meet you, sir. I've heard a lot of, uh, stuff about you. I'll take mine with two creams and eight sugars. Thanks. Damn it, Connor, she isn't here to get you coffee. She's Detective Sanchez. I want the two of you to team up on this thing. A lady cop? I always knew the captain was a nincompoop, but now it was starting to affect his work. The victim worked part-time at the antique store. I say let's head over there and... Let's get one thing straight, dollface. I'm not here to take orders from some secretary. I'm here to solve a goddamn murder. Hey, the only secretary I'll ever be is Secretary of State. What are you doing? You can't expect to find a killer unless you can think like a killer. Live like a killer. That's just a holding cell in a courtroom. This floor is cold and damp. Same as our victim. Same as the streets. John Connor. I thought I smelled bacon. Mac Bentley, hey man, hey. Uh, sorry, I would have showered if I'd known you were. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Well, when you handle as many corporate titans as I do, sometimes you gotta clean up a few messes. Too bad you can't afford me, huh? Oh, <laughs> a piss? No, no, you're so random, no. I, uh, no, I, I'm doing research in here, detective research. Uh, I, I definitely don't nap in here. Well, don't let me interfere with the wheels of justice. Family out. Man, that guy is so cool. A real dreamboat. Now can we please just go to the antique store? It's an actual lead. Beginner's luck. I'm Detective John Connor. This is Detective Cupcake. Who the fuck are you two? What my esteemed partner means to say is, do you know this man? Sorry, I ain't so good with faces. I got a disorder called prosopagnosia. The fake simpleton routine, eh? We'll see how good his memory is when we beat it out of him. Easy now. Let me take a look. Yeah, that's Joey Baldridge. He works here Tuesdays and Saturdays. Well, now he works here never, because he's dead! Oh, my lord. Did you notice him doing anything suspicious recently? There was a guy that came in here yesterday. They was having an argument. I could tell because their mouths were getting all big like this. Can you describe the guy? Don't look at me. Face blindness, remember? He was white, uh, brown hair, 20 or 30 years old, somewhere between 5'8 and 6'7. Great. Guess we'll put an APB out on everyone in the world. Also, he spoke with a lisp. Lisp. Now we're getting somewhere. Are we? I'm not interested in wild goose chases. I'm interested in wild turkey chases. W wait, the workday's not over yet. It is for me, toots. It is for me. God damn it! Detective Flomo. Connor, it burns! Ah, please, do something! Don't just stand there like an idiot! It's not the same without you, Flomo. 
Maybe I wasn't ready to come back. Obviously, I'm just saying that to make him feel better. Nothing can throw old John Connor off his game. Connor? Jesus! Don't sneak up on a brother like that. I'm sorry. Seriously, I was half a second away from judo chopping your ass. Are you following me? No. I'm here to pay respects to Joseph Baldridge's family. The victim. From our case. Yeah, that. Me too. That thing. The captain told me about what happened. With your last partner, and the explosion at the piano factory. Maybe the captain needs to learn to keep his stupid mouth shut. I just wanted to let you know that I sympathize. I lost my husband in Afghanistan. Why do you insist on making everything about you? Unbelievable. Joey was a special person. And an even more special cousin. I'm so sorry for, for everything. Holy shit, that guy has a lisp. That's no guy. That's a lapdog. Matt Bentley's lapdog. You're Gary Baldridge, admitted! We know you had an argument with him right before he died! I swear I didn't kill him! But I might as well have. I introduced him to my boss. Got him involved in his operation. Are you suggesting Bantley's behind this? Don't be absurd. We were stealing priceless heirlooms from his clients and f fencing them using Joey's connections in the antique world. But he wanted out. And Bantley couldn't risk him squealing. I, I tried to get Joey to leave town, but... But... Where is he now? I'll ring the doorbell. You circle around back. Hey, I'm not here to take orders from some secretary. You used that one already. Touché. Please don't be Bentley. Please don't be Bentley. Bentley! No! Tell me you didn't rob those four CEOs! And also kill that guy. Doesn't matter what I did. I am untouchable. For I wield the mighty power of the law. Oh my god! What your name was right! You're not a cool guy at all! You're just another crook! At least when I kill people, it's on purpose. Pipe down, shit bucket. One more word and I'll blast the mouth off your face and use it as a cup holder. You're probably wondering how I ended up here. You see, it all started yesterday morning. It wasn't your fault, Connor. I, I mean, it was. But that's in the past. Now it's time for you to get up and save the future. Get up, Connor. Get up! Get up. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to find... That'd work. Not so fast, lawbreaker. Do your worst. Now that I know ghosts exist, I'm not afraid to die. Don't worry. I'd never let you off that easy. This is for her. Nice shot. Maybe a woman can do a man's job after all. Provided the man is incapacitated. I can't believe you took a knife for me. It's what partners do. Detective Sanchez. Ew, what? No, dude. Can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>